Hey guys, in this review, I'm checking out this propane grill, the Monument Mesa 325. I typically don't grill with propane, but when Monument asked me to test it out, I said, sure, why not? This unit has three burners plus a side burner, and each burner is 12,000 BTUs for a combined 48,000 BTUs. In terms of price, I would say this is a middle of the road grill. It's not the cheapest and it's not the most expensive. It does show up in a fair amount of review sites as a top 10 grill and a solid budget grill. One thing I like about this grill is the clear view lid. I like seeing what's happening inside without opening the lid. You do have to get somewhat close as it is reflective, but you can get a decent view of what's going on inside and whether or not you're burning your food. Previous versions of this grill had the thermometer mounted in the glass, but for this version, they moved it up and out of the way. I also like this side burner as it essentially makes this a four burner gas grill. I found a 10 inch skillet is the perfect size and it did a great job with my 10 inch lodge cast iron pan. I do wish this was less slippery and you wanna watch as a good bump could send your pan off the grill. It's got six hooks, three on each side for utensils, which is totally adequate. This unit also comes with a bottle opener that we installed according to the instructions, but as you can see with it mounted at this angle, it's not great. We can fix that though. This unit has a nice cabinet that stores your propane tank. This bracket did not fit my tank, but it's not going anywhere. I could not get these doors to line up properly, but I also don't have enough patience to keep trying. This grill has a battery operated electronic ignition and sometimes all three burners would light relatively quickly and sometimes a couple would need a little extra time. This grill has porcelain enameled cast iron grates good for 405 square inches with an additional 165 square inches with the top rack. The Mesa does a great job at getting to temp quickly. I was able to get to 700 degrees relatively fast. The Mesa also has battery operated lights on the dials that turn red when on and white when off. It takes four AA batteries and the battery compartment is mounted inside the cabinet. So for my first cook test, I'm grilling boneless chicken thighs with the best marinade I've ever tasted. This is a super easy recipe. It's two cups of white vinegar, one cup of canola oil, two eggs, eight teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, three teaspoons of poultry seasoning, I shook that up and I added 16 chicken thighs to this jar. I like these gallon jars for marinating meats. They take up less surface area and you can fit a ton of meat in them. I think this was like $21 on Amazon. I recommend marinating this chicken overnight, but if not overnight, at least six to eight hours. These cooked up very nicely, but I did notice that the very right side of the grill was not as hot as the rest of the grill. And that's something I'll have to pay attention to. These chicken thighs were amazing with this marinade. Next, I made some hot dogs. If you're not familiar with this brand's Weigels, I recommend giving them a try if you can get them. They're a hometown favorite. They come in white and red, and these are the pop-open versions. Some of my kids prefer ballpark, so I'm making both. I thought the grill did a great job with these, and the top rack was perfect for toasting the buns. So for dinner, I made some pork tenderloin and I'm trying out some new smart thermometers I got from Chef IQ. These are super thin wireless thermometers that hook up to your Wi-Fi so you can monitor the temp from anywhere. They monitor internal temp as well as ambient temp and they can predict when your food needs to be flipped, when it needs to be taken off the grill, and they even monitor the food's rest period. They're super easy to use and I've been using the single probe option for a while now, but I just upgraded to the three probe version. Definitely give these a shot if you're in the market for thermometers. My end goal with these pork tenderloins is 145 degrees and having a thermometer is critical in getting just the right temp. These came out absolutely perfect. For a quick lunch, I grabbed some of these sweet chili lime chicken skewers from Aldi and these mini sweet peppers. These peppers are the perfect size for grilling. I'm also throwing on some brats to eat later and I ended up going to the top rack with these so I didn't burn them and these came out great. This top rack is very useful for keeping things off the heat and with the lid closed, they cooked up perfect. Another feature of this grill is the pull out grease tray and overall, this is a pretty easy grill to clean with everything very accessible. If you move your grill around a lot, I would consider upgrading these casters. They're not the greatest, but if it sits stationary, you should be fine. 
You can also purchase this optional rain cover, which I'm happy to report works great and will keep your grill nice and dry. Overall, I'm pleased with this grill. I think it's a nice unit for a family. Monument says five to seven people, which is accurate, but I cook for my family of nine with no issues. So if you're interested in a propane grill, check this one out. I'll leave links in the description as well in the comments. Thanks for watching and God bless.